Feldman has Hollywood shaking with recently discovered tape from early 90s. Elitists in Hollywood have been trying to discredit former child actor Corey Feldman for years, but a sheriff's office in California just dropped a bombshell that could potentially send shockwaves through the entertainment industry. In October, Feldman claimed that he had given the names of alleged sexual predators in Hollywood to authorities back in 1993. The Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office at first denied this, making Feldman look unreliable and overloaded. But authorities have just admitted that they were wrong. According to Fox News, the Sheriff's Office just acknowledged having audio recordings of Feldman naming names among records connected to the famous investigation of child molestation accusations against the late pop star Michael Jackson. Following the recent inquiries into the Sheriff's Office interview of Mr. Feldman in 1993, the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office conducted an additional review for any stored items remaining for the Michael Jackson investigation, stated Kelly Hoover, Public Information Officer for Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office. In a container which included the original reports from the investigation, the Sheriff's Office located some detective working copies of audio recordings made during the investigation. A copy of Mr. Feldman's interview was located. The recording is being turned over to a Los Angeles Police Department due to the fact that this case involves the alleged sexual abuse of a child. We are unable to co comment further and any documentation or evidence related to this case is exempt from release, Hoover stated. Previously, the same department claimed that there were no recordings of Feldman naming his alleged abusers. We are not aware of the statements that, mi that Mr. Feldman is making regarding an investigation in 1993. Our records do not indicate that he named any suspect, the Sheriff's Office stated in October. The actor, now 46, has pledged to expose corruption and criminal sexual abuse within Hollywood. During a recent interview with, ironically, the now former Today Show anchor, Matt Lauer, the Stand By Me star explained that he had con contacted the authorities several times. I sat down and I gave them names. They're on record. They have all this information, he, to he told Laura. After the sheriff's office found the tapes that had allegedly been missing, Feldman hinted that he would be pushing forward with his crusade against abusers in Hollywood. Time to reopen that case, LAPD, he posted on Twitter. I did report it within the statute of limitations, so now it should be admissible, right? What started with mega movie producer Harvey Weinstein has now spread to almost every area of the media entertainment complex, and it seems like another big name is caught up in a sex abuse claim every day. If Corey Feldman's claim about rampant pedophilia in Hollywood are true, a scandal could be brewing that would make the Weinstein affair seem downright mild. The recovery of this taped evidence showed, shows that Feldman has been hammering these accusations for a long time and has been trying to get law enforcement to take the problem seriously for decades. Hollywood and the country may not be able to ignore these claims any longer that no doubt makes certain people very, very nervous, just as it should.